Mazda has now introduced a CX-50, which almost competes with the 2023 Mazda CX-5 signature trim in your rhodium white metallic, which is what's new for the year. And we received the extra horsepower that we got from last year, because this is the turbocharged. Who are we going after? Well, we can start off with Infiniti QX60, Acura RDX, Honda CRV, Toyota RAV4. There's a lot in this segment. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. I'm going to go over all the specs and details starting now. The new Mazda CX-5 is not going to have that aggressive athletic style as the CX-50. Signature is going to receive the chrome that's going to surround the lower bit of the grille, gloss black in between, inside with the adaptive LED headlamps, daytime runnings, front parking sensors, 360 degree reverse camera, 19 inch multi-spoke bright alloy wheels. It's not going to be as wide as the CX-5 or as tall, nearly six inches less. At 179.1 inches, a wheelbase 106.2 inches. You're gonna get 12.6 inch disc reading for the front, 11.9 in the rear, a McPherson strut front suspension, a multi-link rear suspension, both the front and the rear will have your coil springs and your anti-roll bars. G-Vectoring Control Plus, which helps with cornering through engine torque and brake pressure. Combination LED tail lamps, only 2,000 pounds of towing capacity, which is going to be less than some of the rivals. Going inside to your power tailgate, cargo starting at 30.9 cubic feet. We have a 12 volt charger. You can adjust the floor. I've already adjusted so you can see to give more cargo space. There's a spare tire tucked underneath the floor and you got some storage. Plus you can open these up here on the side, give you even more storage capacity. Split fold the rear bench at a 60-40 split in the back, maxing the cargo to 59.6 cubic feet of storage, which is going to have the best cargo space in the class and it has the most performance which you're about to see let's go inside start it up so you can hear that exhaust note <laughs> 2.5-liter Skyactiv G turbocharged inline four-cylinder producing 250 horsepower with 320 pound-feet of torque that's paired to a six-speed automatic transmission achieving 22 to 27 mpgs compare this to the mercedes to the audi to the infinity and again it compares also to toyota and honda it beats all of them let me know in the comments what you think about the 2023 mazda cx-5 as we go into the interior go over the tech and take this for our test run entering inside the mazda cx-5 you're going to receive over 39 inches of headroom and over 41 inches of legroom you have more space in this than the new cx-50 bucket front seats in captura brown 10-way power adjustment for the driver eight way for the passenger they're heated ventilated memory for the driver the door panel just like every mazda goes into the dashboard i like the two-tier setup you get the wood and you get the silver or chrome surrounding all of your air vents. You get the contrast stitching giving a two tier of the dash with a 10.25 standing out heads up display. And even on the driver's side, you get some button functionality. So open the tailgate and for your camera view, large A pillars with the Bose tweeters encased. Leather wrap, three spoke steering wheel, multi-function. You get the paddle shifters in the gauge cluster. You can go through an array of information in the center. Dual climate control settings, a wireless charging pad, a little bit of storage here with a 12 volt. If I can open it right there for you, you get the gloss black surrounding it. You have your MI drive for your sport your normal and your off-road capabilities. You get the leather that's going to be on the gear knob. Here is the rotary knob for your non-touch infotainment screen. It's only disadvantage, however, very seamless and easy to use. Hit the home, we have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. 
Switch it to reverse, you have full trajectory. It's a 360 degree reverse camera, so it is definitely easy for your reversing. Cup holders, I'd say you can fit a 16.9 ounce without any issues, maybe a 32 ounce max. It's gonna be soft for your rest your elbows. Open up inside, and you got a storage tray. Pick that up, two USB and a 12 volt. It's not so deep or so wide, and the way it's placed, it fits behind the driver. Everyday materials on the door with the contrast stitching, the wood, and you get the silver that's going to outline it soft for your rest your elbows and that captura one touch up and down for all your windows gloss black and the silver a large storage pocket it just doesn't have that large of a lip premium bose sound system for the back seats i'm at 39 inches of headroom 39.6 inches of legroom you actually have more space in this than the cx 50 and that's a longer vehicle so just to point that out elbows are going to be pretty soft open up inside you have your two usb ports heated seats in the back with your cup holders maybe a 20 ounce max in the center you get your air vents you get storage behind both of the front seats the floor is not completely flat because it's the signature we're going to get the same materials from the front to the back one touch up and down storage pocket is going to be smaller than the new cx50 sitting into the center headroom is still no issue but leg room is feet room butt and shoulder space I mean, even if you were going into the Mercedes, the Audi, Toyota, Honda, I can go on forever. You're gonna have this same problem because of the size of the vehicle. Is it comfortable though? That's the main thing. You sit up higher, but you don't sit up so high that you're hitting the headline. Taking the 2023 Mazda CX-5 Signature out for our test run, 2.5 liter, Sky Active G, turbocharged, inline four cylinder, 250 horsepower, 320 pound feet of torque, a curb, base curb weight under 3,900 pounds. So that tells you why those numbers are so fast. At zero to 60, this beats every single competition that I've been talking about throughout the review. Quarter mile, the same thing. Now, it does this on the low note, not on the high note, meaning when you're going to 60. Once you start passing that, it starts to bog down a little bit. However, all of the rivals are going to do the same exact thing. Looking around in visibility, the windows are pretty large and the front windscreen is as well. I do not like the A pillars because it does stress a blind spot. We're gonna give her a little go. And she does a good job. It's also pretty quiet inside the cabin. 18 inch wheels, so it's nothing to go crazy about. There's no 20s here, so that makes it a lot more seamless. The steering wheel has a touch of weight to it, but for the most part, it is light, so it makes it easy for a day in and day out drive. I'm going to check the brakes. I'm going to slam right here so you can check it out. The brakes are very good. At a low speed, how does it soak up the bumps? Well, you're gonna see, not actually that bad. I would say this is a little bit more comfortable than the CX-30. The CX-50 is going to be a little bit more comfortable and the CX-9 you're gonna just glide over and that really goes to the length and the weight of the car. Now there is three things I like and three things that I dislike. Is anything more than that, I'd be taking the CX-5 home. The three things that I like about the vehicle is this is not the longest in the class and yet you have more space in the interior in this than the new CX-50. The second thing that I like about the vehicle is you get a Bose premium sound system. They make a very good system and I'm not trying to advertise for Bose, but I just like it a little bit better than the other premium sound systems. The disadvantage is there's a lot of pages to go through in this infotainment screen. So we're going about 20 miles per hour. We're going to put it into sport, give her a go. And you can see at the turbo, it really starts going around two to 2.5 where it gets to the happy medium. When you're in sport mode, just like I've said in all the reviews for Mazda, it throws up that RPM so that way it gets a little bit more aggressive. So it gives you that extra push. The last thing that I dislike is the fact that the CX-50 is more or less competition against this vehicle. It's about six inches longer but the interior cargo is gonna be less. It's gonna look more athletic. Why didn't they just 
rework this vehicle instead of coming out with a whole new model. It's going to be a little bit more noisy than Audi and Mercedes, but you're not even at that price point. It's going to be right at the same quietness as a Honda and Toyota, but the drive is going to be more fun. I'd like to thank Coast Mazda and Port Ritchie for giving us this 2023 Mazda CX-5 for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being a part of the Hawkeye community. If not, what are you waiting for? Click the next video, the subscribe button, check out the merchandise, details, website, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rides.